Pulmonary, this is Mary. May I help you? When researchers launched a new study to look into proper levels of medicine for asthma, Mary Herrick was one of the first to sign up. Not only does Mary work in a respiratory clinic, she has asthma, and like many patients, worries about how much medicine she actually needs. I've been pretty stable, so I'm hoping that once the study is over that I'm going to be able to wean off some of my medications. But that can be much harder than it sounds. When patients like Mary have an asthma attack, doctors often increase their level of medicine to control it and likely that's where it stays. The guidelines say wean the person, but nobody can, no one really says, here's a good way to do it. To change that, Dr. John Mastronardi of the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center is helping to lead a national study. Researchers know that two drugs, corticosteroids and long-acting beta agonists, work well together in asthma. But what dose is appropriate for each of them, and for how long? Those are important questions because some patients who are prescribed both drugs end up taking neither. These are medications that can cost them anywhere from three to five hundred dollars a month. Um, so, uh, you know, oftentimes that's a real hurdle for people to stay compliant. The study will track 450 patients from 18 research centers nationwide. Doctors hope to find the right combination of medicine that is both affordable and able to keep patients like Mary on the path to good health. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.